It was definitely a groundbreaking concept. Literally, it popped out of the mould on the day before I flew it down to Barcelona. Watching it actually happen was that eureka moment. There was the right people involved, the right ingredients for that particular project. All this time, I've wanted to dive deeper, and now I'm going to tell the definitive story about what I think is the world's most iconic bikes. And by the end of this film, you're going to agree with me. In this documentary, I'm talking to engineers, designers, riders, and fellow admirers of Lotus Bike. It's one of these moments in history that you say there is a significant difference. It was surreal. It was just all coming together at the right time in the right place. Aerodynamicist Richard Hill was the man leading the charge in the tunnel. It was a psychological advantage, it was a technological advantage, and it was a physiological advantage. It was all three together. I'd gone from unemployed carpenter to suddenly being an Olympic gold medalist. History was, was happening in front of us. And so the Lotus 110 was born. The same year as Chris Boardman turned pro, the perfect candidate to show it off to the world. Everybody prepares for this monumental three-week race in the month of July, and we prepared for seven minutes. We just approached it like an Olympic pursuit and we put that in a professional world of cycling and the difference was, was very clear. Lotus can be very proud that they started that journey and really pushed innovation of bikes 20, 30, 50 years later.